dear students in the last session uh, i have told you regarding the specialties of direct and indirect speech and how we can recognize it and today i will explain about the changes in the statements in uh, different types of sentence while writing in direct and indirect speech okay so we know that there are several types of sentences and in each type of sentences the rules are different and first i'll explain you about the changes in the statements of uh, affirmative or assertive sentence while changing into indirect speech so there are three rules while changing from direct to indirect of statement like sentences rule one is the change of tense we are thorough with uh, the reporting verb in a direct speech statement so if the reporting verb in the direct speech statement is in present tense or future tense means simple present tense or simple future tense then it remains same in indirect speech too that is there is no change in tense if the reporting verb in the sentence is in 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 direct speech if the reporting verb is in simple present or simple future the verb will not change its tense for example my friend says says that is in simple present so in indirect speech it will remains the same my friend says that he is very handsome then my granny will say you need to eat well will say that is in simple future tense so it will remain the same my granny will say that you need to eat well only with simple present and simple future tense we see in the speciality of simple present and simple future tense and if uh, if the reporting verb is in the past tense in the direct speech statement then the verbs within the inverted commas will change in the indirect speech statements if it is in past tense if the reporting verb is in past tense the verbs that are within the inverted commas that is going to do change our manners will change into was are and where will change into where sorry are will change into where do and does will change into did have and has had will would can could you can see the changes perfectly if the direct speech is in simple present in reported speech it will change into simple past in simple past it will change into past perfect and you can go through the examples if i am explaining the examples it will become a very lengthy video so you just go through the examples given for each and if the statement in direct speech is in continuous present means present continuous it will change into past continuous then present perfect will change into past perfect then the sentence in past perfect will remain the same past perfect and if we are using the uh, condition will it will change into would for example kya said i'll come on monday kya said that she would come on monday that will will change into would you can see the change in the models in direct speech if we are having can in indirect speech it will change into could then may will change into might now we can see the change of pronouns in indirect speech so personal pronoun change according to sun formula that is very simple s shows the subject that is in first person then object shows the second person and third person means there is no change if subject of the quoted words is in first person then it will change according to the subject of the reported verb so you people are aware about the pronouns and the personal pronoun first pronoun second pronoun and the third one so here if the subject of the quoted words is in the first person then it will change according to the subject of the reported verb for example he said to her i like coffee so it will change into he told her that so he only told then i will change into he he liked coffee he said to her that he liked coffee 
Personal pronouns change according to if subject of the quoted words is in second person, then it will change according to the object of reporting verb. For example, he said to her, you look happy. She told her that she looked happy. Okay. Then if the subject of the quoted words is in the third person, then there will be no change. If already it is in third person, how we can change it into another? We can't change it. So it will remain the same. He said to him, she has already left. It is telling about a third person. Okay, so it will not change. It will remain stable. He told him that she had already left. The changes in uh, first person. If we are having I, it will change into he or she. If it is a boy, he. If it is a girl, she. Then me, him or her. My, his or her. We, they, us, them, are, there. These are the changes. The examples and you can go through it if you have any doubt. We can see the change in the object that is in the second person. So, if we are telling about in a singular way, if the object is in singular way, it will be like he, she, his, her, him or her. And if it is in a plural sense, it will change into they, their, them. According to the objective, subjective and the possessive case, it will be changing. Okay, he, she, his, her, him, her, they, their and them. So the examples given and kindly go through it and you will be thorough with that above shown table. And we can focus on the third person. Already we know in third person there is no change. See, I said to him he should be trusted. So we are telling about he, some other he. We don't know who is that. So we can write, I told him that he should be trusted because he is a third person there and third person we cannot change and it will remain the same. Here is a change in adverbs of time and place. This thing you have to keep in mind and uh, uh, it is compulsory that you should use his words while you are converting the sentence into indirect or direct speech. So today we will change into that day, these, those, now, then, here, there, tomorrow, the following day or the next day, yesterday, the previous day, the day before. Then the last year will change into the year before, tonight, that night, this, that and thus, so. You can see the examples related to the change of adverbs. He said, I shall discuss this matter next week. So, this and next is the this and next are the adverbs in that sentence. So we can change that sentence like he said that shall. Shall will change into would. Okay. Not should. Should means it is compulsory. So it is better to change into would. He would discuss. This will change into that matter. The next week. Next week will change into the following week. And one more example, she said, we shifted to this house two weeks ago. She said that they had shifted to that house two weeks before. Now we can move to the next type of sentence that is the interrogative sentence. And the interrogative sentence are the sentence that are framing a question. And the question can be framed in two ways. With the help of auxiliary verbs and with the help of WH words. WH words include who, how, when, where, why. All these are coming under WH question words. And auxiliary words like are, is, um, will, would, shall, should. With all these words we can frame a question. So according to the words used for framing the question, there are some changes in making the indirect speech and we can see that in detail now first here we can focus on the questions that is giving the answer yes or no that is framed with the help of the auxiliary verbs not the wh words it is framed with the help of auxiliary words that is it is giving the answer either yes or no in this type of a sentence 
what we have to do a question is changed into a statement first thing then the reporting verb is changed into ask or enquire and connective is that instead of that instead of the conjunction that we have to use a new connective and that is if or whether we have to use if or whether instead of that then the remaining changes will be like statements here you can see the examples related to auxiliary uh, statements auxiliary questions she said to him are you writing a poem then we will get the answer yes or no it is made with an auxiliary verb this question is made with the help of an auxiliary verb so the answer is instead of said we have to change into either ask or enquire we have to use these words these reporting verbs either of them ask or enquire then instead of that we have to use if or whether so see here she asked him if he was writing a poem so one more thing you have to keep in mind you have to remove the preposition to before using uh, after using the reporting verb asked or enquired no need to use the preposition to okay then see the example i said to her do you know this person do it is again an auxiliary verb so it will be changing into i enquired or i asked her not to her that is wrong i asked her or i enquired her if she knew that person or we can say i enquired her whether she knew that person and see the tense change in the statement no is changing to new simple present it is changed into simple past tense so i hope you understood the change in the interrogative sentence that are beginning with an auxiliary verb right now we studied about the changes in the interrogative sentence that are beginning with the auxiliary verbs and now we can focus on the question that is beginning with the wh words and the wh words include who how where what whose which why whom these words are the wh words and if we are having a question beginning with the wh words that same wh word will be acting as a conjunction no need to use if or whether and uh, we have to use the same wh word used in the sentence the given here where do you live she asked meena so where where is a wh question so we can make the indirect speech by writing she asked meena where she lived we got lived because do plus live is simply live so that is in simple present so we then we have to change that into simple past tense so the answer is she asked meena where she lived then he said to you we how do you write poems how again a wh word so he said to you we how do you write poems do and write that is again in simple present so the verb will change into simple past then the answer is he asked you we how he wrote poems not to you we that you have to keep in mind if you are having the preposition to before the object just remove to when writing in the indirect speech so the answer is he asked you we how he wrote poems so i hope you understood up to this and the remaining portions will be covered in the next session thank you